magnesium can potentially help a number of issues such as irregular heartbeat, depression, diabetes, muscle cramps, muscle twitches, general fatigue, muscle weakness, sleep issues, headaches, PMS. Hey everyone, welcome back to Dr. Ashley, your go-to channel for everyday holistic health tips for the times we live in, also known as eco-medicine. Consider hitting the subscribe button to stay updated on the latest health tips. It is not uncommon for people to be low in magnesium nowadays. Probably about 50% of people and maybe more. Our foods are not always as mineral rich as they should be because of depletion of our soil, our water supplies, and also our digestive systems are so inflamed from non-nutritious chemicals and pesticides filling our foods that we are sometimes just not absorbing what we should be. Magnesium can potentially help a number of issues such as irregular heartbeat, depression, diabetes, muscle cramps, muscle twitches, general fatigue, muscle weakness, sleep issues, headaches, PMS, and it can also support bone density. And this is specifically for people who are low in some form in their body. Has anyone ever recommended magnesium to you or suggested that you might be low? Yet, when you go to purchase it, you are entirely confused because there are so many kinds. So by watching this video, you will have a much better sense of the different types of magnesium out there and which might be better for you. So let's get started on a couple types of magnesium out there. A very common one is magnesium oxide. It's pretty easy on the digestion. The only problem is, unless it's in a chelate form, it doesn't always absorb very well. Magnesium citrate, now this is a very absorbable form of magnesium and it's also used for constipation. It can be a laxative, so the problem is for some people, it may make them go too much, but for people who tend towards constipation, it may balance them. So magnesium citrate can be a great type of magnesium for certain people. And it can also be supportive for people who have a tendency for more kidney stones. Magnesium threonate. Now, this type of magnesium is very interesting it crosses something called the blood-brain barrier. This means it can get into the nervous system and the brain, so it can be very calming and good to take at bedtime for sleep. The next type I like to think about is magnesium orotate and magnesium torate. These are particularly good for heart muscle and people with arrhythmias who can tolerate and are allowed to take magnesium supplements. Magnesium malleate is a form that tends to relax the muscle and it can be good for people with low magnesium who have muscle tension or fibromyalgia. Magnesium glycinate, this is a form that is considered extremely gentle on the stomach and the digestion and it's also very well absorbed. And it's also fast acting so it can be great for headaches and muscle tension in the moment. Magnesium sulfate, this is actually the form used most commonly in IVs in hospitals. And just a side tip, magnesium can absorb well through the skin, so some people prefer to take Epsom salt baths or use magnesium topical creams to increase their levels of magnesium. And as far as foods, dark leafy greens and nuts are probably the highest sources of magnesium in food. And just a quick mention, daily high dose magnesium can be hard on the kidneys for some people, so it's really important to know your body and talk to your doctor if this is the right thing for you. This is Dr. Ashley. Thank you for joining me for another episode. I hope these quick tips have been really informative. Don't forget to subscribe for future updates and how you can live a healthier life. Thanks, bye-bye.